Aidan Kerr? Yeah. Where are you from, Aidan? I'm from Burgedi, which is just outside Glasgow. Burgedi? Oh. Remind me exactly where. Burg it's just like in between Coat Bridge and the East End of Glasgow. Aye, I know where you are now, aye. Not that far from Bellison. No, it's right beside Bellison, that's right. Right. Well, Aidan, the reason I asked you to come for an interview was I was impressed by your very passionate blog when you started it. Yeah. And uh, you know, when you ask some really pertinent questions or pose some pertinent issues. So just tell me, when were you first thought about that you were uh, politically aware as a nationalist, or maybe, maybe you're not a nationalist, but pro-independence? Well, I'd, I'd say I was always been, um, sort of when I grown up, when I was about 10 or that, most of the issues always seemed to me that it was being controlled by London politicians when it just made sense to me that we could always control what our own, what we all wanted to. Like, so is it, does it run in the family at all, or is it...? Um, well, my g grandfather and gran always said that we should have done it in the 70s, but we shouldn't do it now, oh. sort of the thing. Oh, well. And they were always very much, like, peed off about the 79 referendum and mm. the whole... Like, so they, do you think the was your family traditional Labour voters? All Labour voters have mm. always... I think, I think they've... Up until the last couple of elections, my gran voted SNP, which probably is what's happened a lot in you know, sort of central Scotland as well. So what, 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 why did you decide to start a blog on the issue? Um, I used to be in, uh, sort of involved with a group called Scottish Socialist Youth, and they had a blog, and it was, I enjoyed writing on it, but I sort of moved away from them, and I've, I joined the SNP, and I had, I had nowhere to write my thoughts and feelings and issues. Right. And Twitter's good, but it's 140 characters, you can't. Can't get across. Uh, you need to kind of link your Twitter to somewhere a bit yeah. bigger, right? So uh, I was I used WordPress and I was off the SSY, so I thought I'll give my own one a go. I started writing there in the past couple of weeks and it's been quite good. So now you're here at Langside College. Yeah. Have you been able to join any pro independence groups or an SNP group here or Well, not at the college at the moment, but um, what we've got going in Glasgow and hopefully uh, moving around the other big cities and towns in Scotland is Youth and Students for Independence, which basically is started at the moment in Glasgow between uh, groups such as the SSY, uh, Young Scots for Independence and the Federation of Student Nationalists, which is the SNP group, and also a group called International Socialist Group in Glasgow, mm -hmm. which formed last year and they've been growing. And so it's an amalgamation of all sorts of like, activist groups that are pro-independence and people as well who are not in any political party or group. And that's building now, and there's going to be a, a youth block, also an independence march as well, which I think will be the first formal gathering of us. So you're going to this march on the 22nd? I'm going to the march, I'm quite looking forward to it as well. And uh, you'll be a, amongst quite a lot of people that you know? Yeah, yeah, uh, there's, a, there's a youth block being called for it as well, and I think they'll, I think the sort of the main people behind the Youth Insurance for Independence uh, will be the guy behind it for discounted student bus fares as well. Oh, cool. So, We've got half price student bus sales as well. Try to get, try to make it as big as possible. Do you know what sort of banner or flag or em uh, emblem you're walking under? I do not, but I believe we do have our own banner, but I don't know. It's okay, it's just to look out for you, because there could be an awful lot of people there. Yeah, I think also as well, what we've called for is like, um, all the individual groups are within the Youth for Students for Independence, like the uh, Young Scots and International Social Group have their own banner as well, showing that all different groups are involved. In a f I think over the next sort of two years as well, I want to organise on campuses, but of course it's hard in college because most people are here for one academic year, right. whereas it's three academic years until the independence referendum, because that comes in all. So it's so, really hard to organise at college level. So have you had managed to find out yet if there is a, if there is any sort of political or, or organisation within I, the college? I don't think there's much, but tomorrow, but Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, there's like a fresher stalls. Ah, on, on Tuesday, the time. we are running our own Youth and Students for Independence stall yeah. as well here at Langside College to get people active in it as well. well. Looks like I'll need to, need to find out what happens after freshers. Yeah, it's, it's, it's quite hard to organise a college. Yeah, obviously at uni, there's people up between four and seven years, depending on their course yeah. obviously, so it's much easier to build there. And also like, if you're at Glasgow, for instance, like the Federation of Student Nationals, that's been there for like over a hundred years, I think, as well. So, yeah. oh well, that was somebody we'll, we'll, we'll refer to him afterwards. Thank you very much, Aidan. It's excellent. Thank you.